What's going on guys, my name is Steve from The Checkpoint, thank you once again for joining me for another video. Today we are looking at Sheltered. This is going to be kind of a little playthrough, first impressions slash uh, game overview of Sheltered, which is a game by Unicube. And I don't know a lot about this particular developer, I think this is their first game together, I'm not entirely sure. But essentially this is kind of a supply gathering survival type dealy where I've got a simulator and a post-apocalyptic, it seems, a survival scenario with my family. And my job is to collect supplies for my family, look after them and generally be a good all-round person. So this is going to be very interesting. So without further ado, let's look at the options while we're here. So as you can see, we've got resolution that goes all the way up to 1366 by 768. We also have a full screen. I don't want to be on that resolution. What am I doing? Let's put myself in that. We also have a display full screen, windowed as is standard for most games. We've got music sliders here, uh, sound effects, view controls. We can have a look at this right now. So these are the controls. Feel free to pause it. If you see anything odd about this, then uh, please let me know. But it seems pretty bog standard stuff. I'm, it may explain it in the game and I'll probably be able to access it in the uh, start menus anywhere, so let's just uh, get, let go of that. The languages it is available in English, German, French, Spanish, Russian, and English. So, yeah, there we go. Alright, so we should jump straight into this, I think. I think it's around time, so let me uh, go ahead and press play right now. And uh, let's go slot one. This is my first time playing this game. And uh, oh my god, look at this. Alright, excellent. So, it looks like we can actually choose what our character is going to look like. So, let's. Uh, all right, let's let's be a dude. It kind of randomizes each time, um, but we'll be able to customize that anyway. So let's go for this guy, top color. Um, can we actually change like the t the style of shirt we have? All right, let's go for this guy, um, top color. Let's go for that. Uh, oh my lord, those are some loud trousers. Um, let's go for that classic denim look, skin color. Uh, so that fulfills all racial needs right there so we can let's go for that hair color uh i want to see if we can get some like crazy blue and stuff like that no no pretty bog standard colors so let's just uh we don't want to be we want to be like that there we go head type uh oh look at this oh we can get a little beard going on uh we can go bald uh we have long flowing locks here uh where's the oh my god let's go for the bearded one Consider I do have a... No, that is not the right thing to press. Consider I do have a slight beard in real life. Um, body type. Ah, look, so we could change um, our outfit. I think I feel like that's a reference to Shaun of the Dead. You know, like the general... I don't know. If you've seen that movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. But let's go for what we had before. Actually, look, we've got some new stuff here. Um, let's go for that. I'm actually not feeling that top color. Sorry, sorry, I take this really seriously. Um, I don't know, I really like character customization things. Oh my god, look at those skinny jeans. Um, let's go for just the basic ones there. Traits, courageous, deep sleeper, proactive, hands-on, optimistic, resourceful, hygienic, small eater. Okay. Um, hmm. I want to go hands-on. I feel like that would be a good approach. So stats, preset. Oh, look at this. We could be violent. Does it actually let us choose? Like, no. Okay. Um, so let's have a look. What we've got? Street smart, logical, well-rounded. Let's go for well-rounded, just because it's our first playthrough. Okay. We'll be well-rounded. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't even realize that was our first parent. Okay, so now we have to make a, a wife called... We don't. Oh, God, we could change the name. All right. Yeah, we do not want our man to be called Christine. Let's make this one... Um, well, let's call him Hugh. This is Hugh. Say hello to Hugh, and let's make this. Let's keep it as Roger. No, let's um, let's see. Uh, Lucy, Hugh and Lucy. Uh, Lucy is going to look like this. Um, let's have a pill. Pill as a twig. That doesn't mean pill as a twig. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. Maybe I thought, like, skinny as a twig, because she's rather skinny. Um, no, pale as a twig. That's exactly what I was getting for. Uh, she's gone through some shit. Let's have her ripped up a bit. Um, there we go. Traits. Uh, 
A stiff small eater as reflective of her skinny as a twig frame and her stats um let's put her as well educated. Okay. Oh my god, a small child. Um Small child. No, I can't put number one. Um, Alright. Um let's see. Uh No, okay, it won't actually let me put crude, um, uh, let's see, um, Kieran, as uh, a tribute to our, uh, friend here on the checkpoint, uh, we're gonna keep it like that, that looks like Kieran, so let's change his, uh, stats to, oh god, why are all these, like, presets, why do they just make my child seem like a complete asshole? Let's put him with smarty pants. Okay, and now we will have, um, let's see, uh, oh my lord, um, A AJ, AJ, alright, we have AJ, AJ will be a boy, and, um, AJ is going to have that crappy ass shirt, he's going to have no style, um, he's going to be bald, He's going to be wearing some short shorts. Can we get short shorts? Alright, just those. And he's going to be uh, a deep... No, we don't want it to be a deep sleeper. Uh, ob mm -hmm. Let's have him be um, courageous. And he's going to be... Um, see, some of these seem like defects rather than like... Actual, like, advantages. Whatever. I don't know. Family name. We are the Checkpoint. The Checkpoint. Yeah, we are the Checkpoint family. Our pet's name is going to be Gabe Newell, as named after the famed <laughs> Valve developer. And uh, our pet is going to be... No, can we not? Oh, my God. That is a very small cat. Um, Let's have a dog. Okay. Yep, let's play the tutorial. So it took us about a good six or so minutes to get a good six or seven so minutes to get to the tutorial, but don't worry about it. Um, might might even be eight, but um, oh my god, here we are. Right, uh, Hugh, can I? What? We're all in the shelter. Your family has found refuge, but they're not out of danger yet. They won't be safe from radiation until they're inside the shelter. Our task is to find a way to the shelter. Okay. Um, right, how do I move? Right, W-A-S, okay, let's move the camera. Hugh? Uh, okay, so if I right click, you see, I, th I feel like the game should, can I get this off my screen or? No, um, I feel like the game should, like, automatically turn that off after a while because it, and then maybe have, like, text along the bottom. They're in radiation, as we, uh, okay, there we go. Find a way to get power to the shelter. Uh, okay. Where am I gonna find that? It's very dark in here. Hey, look. Add, add fuel? What is it? It's a generator. Okay, go, Hugh. You're up. There we go. Excellent. The shelter... What is that? Oh, it's a deer. I got very scared. The shelter has... Pa okay. <laughs> This place is old and run down, but as long as we we are, uh, as long as we fix and upgrade the objects and systems in here, we will be fine. Oh, Kieran. Oh, we could go exploring outside and find items to craft stuff with. There's a map on the wall. I don't know why to shout that. It was in all caps. On the wall by the door. Good call. If we take care of our own needs too, we could stay here for a long time. Is anyone hungry or thirsty? Who's gonna be hungry? It's no one. No one is. Look, there's a deer. Can't we go up there and fucking, like, murder the hell out of it, or... No, it's gonna jump into that RV and get away. How are you, Gib? Alright. What do I have to leave? have to do now? It looks like we have parts to the upgrade system. What? Let's have a look at the map. Uh, you can track your exploration parties and recall them back to the shelter. Okay. Um, there's a small farm. Small, small house, church. Uh, small farm. What? What do I? Okay. Whoa. Not sure what's going on there. 
Can I do anything with this or? Okay, apparently not. Uh, see, I'm not sure what I'm actually supposed to do right now. Did I take a hazmat suit? And can I swap characters? Okay, I can be Lucy. Uh, can I be the dog? Does the dog hold any? I can't click the dog. Uh, we can be AJ. We're definitely going to send AJ out there. Uh, actually, I do have a hazmat suit on, so maybe... Should I go back out? Oh dear. I will not do that again. Uh, family. Okay, what? Okay. See, I'm just discovering the controls, and it doesn't... It doesn't really help you out as much um, as I would like it to. Uh, let's see what's in the pause menu. Okay. Uh, is there any objective? Nope. Um, so I've got a... What is this? What does this mean? View. Day one. Can't believe we're alive. It's just us now together. The people that make up our family are Hugh, Lucy, Kieran, AJ, and our pet dog, Gabe Newell. <laughs> it was luckily we st <laughs> it was lucky we stumbled across this abandoned war shelter. Seems to have seen better days. Maybe with some elbow grease we can get into good shape. Anything is better than where we came from. What do you mean? Do you mean this this lovely No, oh, okay, I can't get off this. Okay. You mean this beautiful metropolis up here with a camper van? Can I actually Okay. Uh, okay. We do it. Right, what what do we actually have to do? Um Oh the dog is asleep. I mean Gabe is asleep. Right, Hugh, I'm I'm in the hazmat suit. So I've gotta go up there and look for there's a water filter. Um oxygen filter. Maybe I should go up there. Oh god, he's going for it. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Look, everyone. I'm doing the game. Well, the animations are quite smooth. Alright, uh... Oxygen filter. Let's check up on that. It's all good. Uh... Water filter, integrity 48%. Can I check the camper van? What, what? Okay, interact. Check. Uh... Okay, I don't know what any of that means. Uh, let's fix the water filter. So we get some fresh water coming in. Hugh apparently has the knowledge to do that. Uh, Lucy, while you're there, um, could you please view not the journal? Even though I can't click off that, which is quite annoying. Uh, what? It looks like we have the parts to upgrade a system. Um, we want to look at the map. Can we? How do we send people to like these various places? Also, Hugh, what? Okay, he's still doing that. Um, small crate. Have a look in there, Lucy. Oh, that light just flickered. Um, hopefully it won't run out anytime soon. How do I go to various places? Oh, God, Hugh. It's getting dark. Are you okay, are you okay out there, mate? Hopefully, like, no creepy crawlies or monsters come along and murder us. We need food, don't we? Really. It's a workbench. As I said, the generator. The generator is, um... Okay, it's still going. Tiny pantry. Who's hungry? Okay, come back, Hugh. What's that mean? What? Is he tired? Or something? Hugh, Hugh close the door, you crazy... Okay, thank god. That's it. Oh, Jesus. Right, now what? What's that? Oh, he's thirsty. Okay. Are you cold? He's tired. Okay, Hugh. Um. Do we even have anywhere to sleep? Hugh. Um. Get down this ladder. You're hungry, so go over here and. Eat. Okay, move out the way, Lucy. Eat some food. Not all of it, you little... God, that is a horrible sound effect. It feels like someone's licking my ear. Um, He's tired. How do I put him to sleep? Not in a sinister way. I mean, just like, in general. Um, What is she talking about? It looks like we have the parts to upgrade a system. How about we upgrade so we have a bed? 
His hue is very drowsy. And I'm not sure how to put him to sleep. Let's, should we check the controls? Just in case there's something that says, like, sleep or something. Uh, zoom out, speed up time, um, cancel character, oh, automate character. Uh, maybe we should automate the character Herm, the Herm button. I don't think I've ever used that button. Um, God, where's Herm? Uh, okay, Hugh, Herm. What's he get? What's he doing? Ah, oh, right, okay, so that's where I get, okay. Um, you do that as well. Now, what do you want? Um, it's a radio transmitter. That's the map. Oh, day two. A giga counter, or whatever, however it's pronounced. What do you want? What do you want? Hugh, I know you're tired. You should go to sleep. What does she mean? It looks like we have parts to upgrade a system. Why? Why don't you go there? Tell you what, take a hazmat suit and go up there and sort it out yourself. Whatever you're talking about. Is she actually... No, don't get one. Stay here, please. Hugh! Sort yourself out. Go to sleep. It's... It's very, very early morning. You haven't had any sleep, mate. Alright, uh, journal, uh, intercom, actually no, no, Hugh, you're tired, stay back, I've got this, uh, intercom, it won't let me, I think we should have, we should build a bed, how, oh there's a craft thing, okay, white bench, go Lucy, it's your time to shine, get down there, god damn, how did I not think to build a bed, um, Craft item. Here you can make furniture for your shelter. Craft weapons or for combat and trap to catch and uh, traps to catch animals. Okay, where's bed? B -b 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 sleeping bag. Uh, we will put it. Oh, we kind of do need rain on surface. What? Oh, is the water filter? Yep, that will be filtering that to there. Well, Hugh, I know you're tired, but look. Right, you, sort yourself out. Uh, hopefully that filters through. I'm pretty sure that's what it's there for. Uh, the oxygen filter, that's okay. Uh, Hugh, go to sleep. Yep, that is not the where you sleep, you Sleep. Lucy, you're in charge of making more shit. Go on. Look at him, he's like a caterpillar. You, go over there. <laughs> right. Upgrade. Apparently you can upgrade things. You can increase your shelter's efficiency by upgrading your oxygen filter, generator, and water filter. Um, oh, do we want to upgrade? Uh, upgrades the white bench to level 2. Let's do it. Right, while that's happening, you, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? They're all okay. What do you need? The toilet? Do we have a toilet? Um, Herm. No, don't take a crap on your dad. Is that... Hold on. Where, you little... Is that... Hold on, I need to... How do I zoom in? Left control, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, is that... Nope, okay. Is that poop? There, where I'm, where I'm circling with my mouse, if you can see it. Well, just, just next to Hugh. Hugh, there's some poo next to you. <laughs> Alright, stop doing what you're doing. Alright, no, look, you can build your own toilet. Craft item. Um, Where's the toilet? A mop and bucket? <laughs> you can... Oh my god. Increases dirtiness. Look, here's your damn toilet. He's building it himself. Oh. Alright, you. Go outside, good. Brief the radiation. She's not actually going to do that. I'm just checking she isn't. Okay. Right. Look, everyone's doing shit. It's great. I can just sit back. Ugh. Relax. And everyone will uh, get the job done. Right. This guy. Uh, what was... What the hell? Right. What? Who was this? 
Okay. Who's dispensable? Don't stand by your brother while he's taking it. No, I don't want you to use the toilet. I want... Oh, my God. Right. Wait there, please. Right. Jesus Christ. Right. Just talk to the person, please. Respond. It's Pamela. Greetings. I am looking for sanctuary. Do you grant such things? I'm able-bodied and hard-working. Oh. Oh. Yes. Did we make the right decision? Come in if you like. Okay. Pamela. Enter the fray. Dirt attack. Gabe Newell. Dirt attack. Alright. Pamela Welsh is here. Hopefully she doesn't... Right. Pamela, your first job is to wash out this bucket. And then you can go for your crap or whatever you need. He's been needing it literally all day. I don't think I'm succeeding at very, being a very good person. He's still asleep. Uh, we need another... Now he's tired! No, you wanted a... Crap a second ago. Right, Pamela. You have another job. Uh, you need to craft an item. And this will be... Another sleeping bag. To go here. Okay, won't go there. Uh, someone gets the un... Okay, no. No, we can't put a sleeping bag anywhere. Uh, there's only room for one sleeping bag. Um... She says she could really use a shower. Someone can sleep in the doorway. Could someone sleep outside? Um, I can't seem to put this anywhere. So, you're going to have to wait. Oh, you're going to have to wait, okay? You could really use a shower. Okay, well, how about you make a goddamn shower? You ready for Oh, look. We can build another room. Can I do that? I don't have any cement. Uh, right. Hmm. Makeshift shower. Alright, we'll put the shower down here, maybe? Maybe just here? Anywhere? Nowhere? Okay, here, apparently. It's like she's hammering away at the at the children. Right, Hugh. Hugh, get out. For God's sake. Hot damn. Hugh, you need to You lazy son of a get out what? Jesus. Everyone's just crowding around here. He's just... Right, someone's going to have to sleep in the small crate. Um, she also is sleepy. They have been awake for like three straight days. Um, who wants a shower? Right, Lucy, you want the shower. Sir, uh, you can shower there, Pamela. You're going to be in charge down here. Uh, right, while well, you're getting a shower. Uh, Kieran, um... Actually, no, I want water storage at max capacity. Oh, God, it's raining. Okay, excellent. Um, can I not just take apart this camper van? That'd be useful. Uh, what else do we need? Well, we have a completely working... You know, this, this works. This works for me. This whole... Oh, look, day two. I was thinking that Pamela looks quite familiar. Pretty sure we saw someone similar on a trip once. Then again... Everyone looks the same around these parts. I think it's pretty clear that Pamela has had a pretty hard life up until now. Finding us has been has probably been a godsend. I think that will just get on fine. No. Let me exit that. Right, well Pamela is currently down here. And Hugh, you've been asleep for like a full day. Can I deconstruct this? Hugh. Get up. Stop sleeping. Stop. There we go. Right, who wants to go to sleep? You, you little goddamn... Right, you get to sleep. Right. Sleep. Oh, everyone's sleepy. I'm so sorry, everyone. What's she doing? Right. What do you want? You want... Oh, I don't understand what she wants. Hugh, you can take the hazmat suit off. Um, It's a re return suit. There you go. You don't need to be in that all day. Well, you've slept in it, so it's probably got all your gross stank in it. Um, okay, what's it like looking up there? Right, the water's still going. She is currently eating away. I think the dog is hungry. How do I feed the dog? 
Oh my god, dirt. No. Do not even make that noise. Alright. No. How do I... Pamela, craft something. How do I make food for the dog? Tiny pantry. Um, grave? Oh my god. Bookshelf. Uh, stress relief. Uh, snare trap. Um, how do I feed the dog? That's all I want to know. I thought we can actually build actual things. Reduces tiredness. A punch bag. Moderate snare trap. Poor snare. Poor stove. Poor bulletproof vest. I hope no one's going to come in and shoot up our family. Um, how do I feed the dog? That's all I want to do right now. Uh, oh my god. What's in storage? Here we go. Petrol can, duct tape, wood, nail, pipe, gas mask. Valve, nylon, uh, it doesn't look like we can feed our dog some nails or some duct tape or some anti-radiation tablets. Good grief. Um, Alright, let's not deconstruct that while he's asleep. Um, how do I feed the dog? Let's fix the bucket toilet. Oh, Pamela's doing everything. I keep forgetting to swap two different people. I know you're hungry, you little shit. Alright, you get a goddamn shower. Dog, how do I help the dog? Is it just going to die on me? Because I don't, literally do not know how to feed it. Alright, you, they can all sort themselves out. Hugh, go sort yourself out. Go get something to eat. Oh, okay, the buff, um, having a drink there at the same time. Okay, if you're exhausted, then AJ, stop sleeping. Your mother needs it. She's been awake for almost four straight days now. So you can sleep. Uh, it's looking pretty grim up top. Um, oh, a rabbit. We missed out on a rabbit. Um, oh, no. Water filter. What's wrong with it? Hey, no. It looks like we have parts to upgrade a system. She keeps saying that. Um, right, you need a shower. So you take a shower. Um Right, I want to I want to catch one animal before the episode ends. Uh Not wait, no, Pamela, you're supposed to be taking a shower. Hugh? No, no, do not take Pamela, no. You meant to be getting a shower, Pamela. What did she just take? I don't know. Hugh, right. No, why is the child going down there? Okay, AJ, craft item. I want you to craft a a snare trap. Okay, we can't. Uh, is there any rope in the storage, Hugh? Um, just, just check. Open storage. R -r -r nylon. Nope. Any rope? It doesn't. It doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we're not going to be able to make a snare trap. Um, craft item. Is there anything else we can make? Incinerator. No, that won't help us in a. Okay. Uh... Where do we get all these supplies from? That's the thing. And how do we send people out? I'm not particularly sure. I'm also not sure whether this family can survive. It's very, um... Oh god, what does that mean? Oh my lord. Anyway, we're approaching, or I believe we're approaching the 30 minute mark, or we might have already got past it. I don't know. But basically, I want to give a little overview and review of this game. So, so far, you've seen me be pl been playing, and um, we made it up to day four. So, I feel like I've spent a moderately good amount of time to give my first impressions on this. It's very stylistic, evidently. You see the pixel art, the very, um, you know, pixely influenced artistic style, which is very good. Uh, the UI seems to be simple and quite, uh, you know, basic and standard for, um, for survival. It's like, simulating games, so uh, that's pretty good. Uh, the What else is there to talk about? I feel like my main gripe with this game is the fact that it throws you in the deep end straight away. Like, already, um, I don't know how to venture to places. My child is having trauma. Um, <laughs> uh, um, you know, various things like, you know, 
oh my god, I can't cope with this. Who's this? Is the child having an existential crisis? Um, essentially, like, oh god, the light has gone out. Essentially, everything feels too, um, kind of, like, thrown in at the, at the start. Like, straight away, I got hit with so many different options, and it didn't really introduce me to things. Also, the way it kind of, it gave me an objective, but didn't, keep me updated on what the objective is like it said you can go out to all these places and check where your party are on the map but we're not going to tell you how to get to those places it's kind of annoying because i really would like to get into this i really would like to get into the part where i can you know hunt animals and bring back food and and stuff like that but for some reason it doesn't establish that when any other game would and that's my biggest what? What was the arrow mean? What? What does she want? Um, she wants to leave? Okay. What are you doing? What on earth is she doing? Um. What the? F what is she doing? Did I click up here? No! Come back! Jesus! Come back! Lucy, don't go there. I did no. That's a bad no. Stop, stop. Come back. You are insane. Um. Also, I feel like yeah, it doesn't really establish the controls. Like I don't know how to feed my dog right now. It took me a while to figure out how to craft things and various little basic things like that. It took me a while to figure out things. I feel like that could have been much easier. Like it could be much easier explained within the opening moments of the game. And those are my main gripes, uh, aside from that, it's, I can see how I'd really get deep into this. I feel like the soundtrack could be a bit more, what the, f Kenneth? I feel like the soundtrack could be a bit more, um, what is she doing? Lucy, no, I want, no, don't go outside, stop, stop. Right, let's see what this guy wants and then we'll end the video. So essentially, it's a very good game, but it does suffer from some, you know, major uh, problems. And it is early access, it is a pre-release uh, game, so, you know, that's to be expected, but, okay. I don't understand why it creeps me out so much as well. But, uh, help, I'm being chased by something, let me in please, I need something. Okay, sure, you're probably that something anyway. He's probably going to murder the hell out of us. Come on in. Nope. Oh, okay. What's she doing? Lucy, you are such a maniac. Get back here. No. Get back over here. Look at no. that. Why is she hellbent on going outside? Right, you can stay in there then. But uh, essentially, yeah. Um... The game is very, it's very hit or miss for me. It is very good in the sense that it provides a really gritty and strategic representation of a survival apocalypse style situation, but it doesn't, it doesn't take into account that there may be players like me who are very inexperienced in the genre and very inexperienced in uh, games like this, and it seems to kind of forget about that, and it. It lacks ease of access, is what I'm going to say. So, if you are willing to spend the time to get into a game like this, I'd highly recommend this. This is an excellent game, and I have to give the developer props for making such a great atmospheric and um, just a really neat little package. You know, it'll keep you going for a while. I'm already beginning to become addicted as, as we speak, but as I said, it does require a bit of tweaking in terms of ease of access. But aside from that, very good game. I highly recommend you check it out. It's on Steam right now, early access. And uh, yeah, this has been Steve, and I will talk to you very soon.